Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Terry Kugler from Kugler Landscaping. Uh, pardon the dog in the background. Neighbor came out and is barking. So uh, this is a Ferris FW35, which they no longer make. They've uh, changed the name to the F45, which is uh, the biggest thing I've seen or can recall. It has the uh, larger... Uh, pumps on it or transaxles they went up a size or something with that which i think is a, a good thing uh i think this this is a little under slightly undersized but other than that i really uh like it my previous uh walk behind was a x mart 52 inch this is also a 52 inch i primarily used uh walk behinds i've had uh one zero turn and a uh, stand on right standard uh, i kind of felt they were not as uh, versatile as this this uh you know you can go on hills uh does a lot of different things uh just uh appeals to me more the others i would have issues in certain situations mud or a steep hill or rooted hills or sharp turns and uh, I know there's guys that uh, can do quite a few things on them, but I've never had a issue with this getting away with me uh, on anything that I do and being so low. Um, it's the one piece uh, of equipment that goes about anywhere and uh, works for me. So that's why I've, uh, I use it. So this has the EFI uh, Vanguard motor so far after three years. Uh, it's been very good, it's efficient, very powerful, pulls pulls me around because I do have a uh, sulky on it. We'll get back there in a little bit. The oil guard system, I also have the oil guard on here. Uh, wonderful, I think it uh, should be on every mower. Uh, holds, I believe, four, uh, not four gallons, but four quarts of oil. So less changing and helps the motor and a uh, unit run cooler as well it's almost like well it's a, essentially that's what it is is an oil cooler so i think it's genius and they uh, should be on every mower uh, so the motor's been good i've always been a kawasaki motor fan but uh, i'm not sure if that was even offered in this or it was small but i wanted the most uh, horsepower that i could get so and then i bought this sulky and it's uh one i've been using for about 10 15 years so it works really good you just stand on it and uh, ride it around most of the time and then if you want to jump off and uh, walk behind it or uh you have to get off for some reason it's uh, very easy it's got the central controls instead of pistol grips they're very comfortable and uh, easy on the hands and not very fatiguing so I find the controls and everything were all laid out some of the issues I've had uh, with it uh, the, the unit would be uh, the pulleys um, uh, a couple of the pulleys seem to go out almost every year which I'm putting maybe a hundred hours a year on it so pardon the dog again the neighbors are out so shooting it outside so it's a beautiful day so i thought i'd try to get this outside so uh it's got a five gallon tank it's got the bigger tires i think ferris is one of the few companies that's uh kept the uh walk behind alive uh they've kind of modernized it with the uh the big motors, the oil cooler, the big wheels on it. So I think there are 10 or 11 inches on the front and 20, 18 or 20 on the back. Uh, it'll show me, uh, they're 20s, 20 by eight. So it's a big, big unit. So for a walk behind, it's got a lot of modern features. So the main problem I've had is the uh, pulleys. Uh, not on the blade, but back there on the uh, transmission, uh, uh, tension the uh, transmission and stuff. And pull, uh, there are different pulleys. The deck pulleys have been bulletproof. 
uh, they're all greasable, which I grease. I do wish they had a, uh, if you see here on the right, they have a, a anti-scout roller there. And one in the middle, I wish they would, I'm not having a huge issue, but it does cut a little close to the ground if you're tilting in or hitting a bump. So I think there should be one or two on this side as well. I thought about having them uh, set welded on because uh, I do think it would complete the unit. I think that uh, Ferris should look into that and it would be an improvement. So, uh, yeah, um, like I said, uh, other than that, uh, the battery is still on the original battery. The tires are original. Um, have about four or five hundred hours on this unit. I did have to, uh, it was my option, I put a, here in the front, that red bar where the F-35 is uh, slightly painted over, um, this bar here, let me point at it here, this bar here was added on to extra weight because when I first got the unit, I'm not sure what that weighs, 25, 30 pounds or something, maybe a little bit more, but I had my welder guy friend put that on because the unit, especially when you're standing on it with a walk behind, it would want to wheelie up. Not on flat ground, but going up in any kind of grade, it really got light on the front. So I thought it needs weights on there. So I had him weld that on. It's just a big thick steel bar. And I painted it red. And now it really, even unless I point it out to you, you can't really tell. Uh, but here's the side view of it. So that big uh, two by two piece of steel there is what's welded on across the front there. So that's not on a stock unit. So added that, fixed the problem and really uh, goes up hills pretty good. And uh, yeah, everything's uh, comfortable and no flats on it. It's got flat free uh, front tires and air in the back. I usually change the belts out every other year, but then pulleys uh, really need to be uh, probably replaced every year unless uh, Ferris does an update with them. Uh, I keep asking them when they change them out if they're uh, doing anything new or better with them because it's a you know it's an issue to have your pulleys uh, go bad every year. So. Uh, I just had them put on again because they went bad this year and started acting up on me. So, but it's been a good unit. Um, very happy with it. I thought I'd never leave X Mart because uh, that was uh, the best one I've used. I've used uh, Skag, um, X Mart, uh, Toro. Uh, several of the brands, but them are the ones that I use. The last one I had was a Toro. Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's X Mart. Toro owns X Mart, but um, which was a good unit. Used it for 10 years. Had uh, absolutely no problems besides uh, maintenance. Pulleys were great on it. Uh, replaced the belts once a year, but overall, uh, my opinion on the Ferris FW35 is the uh, best walk behind that I've personally used to date. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but I think the things that uh, make it outstanding over the others is the wheels are uh, bigger and uh, you know less turf damage and grabs the ground well, rolls over things. Uh, the Vanguard EFI 28 horsepower motor is outstanding. Uh, again, fuel efficient and very powerful. A lot of the other commercial units um, are underpowered, in my opinion. Um, they might be running a 19 or 23 horsepower motor. So this is uh, five better than about anything that I'm aware of. And of course the oil guard is a system there, the yellow cap there on the side, that's the oil guard. And uh, I think that's outstanding and I, that should be on every mower there is, unless you have, uh, you know, radiators or something, water cooled or something. But 
so I uh, I typically might go all year since I'm a single operator and uh, before I change it sometimes I'll get change it twice a year just to be on the safe side because I like to keep things maintained even though it's dirty looking but uh just got it off the uh, trailer and rolled it over here so i'd do a little quick review on it so uh yeah and that's the centralized cc controls so this is the model so that's looking at it from behind so very well laid out and very comfortable and friendly to use it's got the quick uh, adjustment uh deck height so you and just turn that handle there on the side down here and you can uh, adjust it to whatever suits your fancy uh, it's very adjustable low or high so has room for about any adjustment you want so I think that's about it so hopefully this has been helpful to somebody uh, like I said four or five hundred hours on it uh, very happy with the Ferris FW35. They uh, now have the F45 as the replacement for it. And uh, so if you're looking for the, the F35, they no longer make it, but they do make the same unit. It's just called the F45. So please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm new here and I appreciate, uh, appreciate that very much. And thank you for watching. So, and have a great day. Thanks.